Hello and welcome back to the channel. So the previous lecture was all about Hive and how we can use it to interactively work with the relational data stored in HDFS. So Hive will give us the capability to run SQL queries on top of Hadoop so that you don't need to write complex codes written in Java or any other language which can be time consuming and it can be very difficult for complex operations. So this lecture we will be working with Hive through the web ui which is ambari so without further ado let's get into it so the first thing first you just have to boot up your cluster so i have already kept it in a running position to save some time so right now my sandbox is up and running okay so once the cluster is loaded just go to your favorite browser and open the localhost colon 8080 Just so the usually just use the credential as Maria underscore Dev. Again the password is Maria underscore Dev. The login into it. Just ignore the warnings. And here you can see our all services are in running position and there are no issues in our cluster. So to access Hive, you have to go to this option and select on Hive View, which will go to the Hive Editor. So here it is checking all the services. We are in our Hive editor now, where you can interactively work with Hive. You can simply just create tables, as well as create views. You can do all kinds of SQL operations on the files which are stored in HDFS, and also you can upload the files through here as well, as we have seen in our HDFS tutorial. So, but wait a minute, we don't have any data to play with. So, to do that, I have uploaded some file in Git repository. So here. I have uploaded file in this Hadoop repository, like movies dot item, which contains all the movie details, and ratings dot data, which contains the ratings. And this file we are already familiar with, and we have worked on it in our MapReduce tutorial. So this is a new to us. This will contain details of all the movies, and these files are related. So what we can do is we can do different join operation to get the most popular movies in our ratings dot data, but When we worked with ratings dot data, we only got the ratings ID, which was not that readable. But here we can get to know that movie name, so which movie was actually popular, that we can get to know by using the join conditions. So to do that, first we need to create tables on top of this file. First, just download these two files. So to, for downloading, we can upload files from local system as well. So in your Windows PC, you can just go to the command prompt. Yeah, and to get this, just go to the links. So movies dot item. This is the first file. Click on raw, and you can just simply copy it. Go to command prompt. Use the wget command to download this file in your local PC. Paste and enter. Yeah. So the first file is already downloaded. So it's time for the second file. Again, go to that Hadoop ratings dot data. I hope this file you already have it, but if you don't have it, just go to view raw, and here is the raw file. So just get this, copy it, and again run the wget command. So just give wget and just paste it. Yeah. So here you can see all our two files are downloaded in your default path. So your default path will be. In the local disk C, in users and your username, so there all these files will be there. So if we go to my file system, here the local disk system C, then users, my username, and here are the two files. So now we need to upload this file to our HDFS. So to do that, we can just simply create tables in Hive, and also I will be sharing you all this wget command along with the link so that you can simply. copy paste it to save your time so for creating a table we can just go to the upload table tab we can do this through command line as well which we will cover it in the next video so here you can select the file type so the first we will upload our ratings dot data file so the ratings dot data file i hope you already know that the date ratings dot data file is separated by the tab character so here what we can do is we can just simply give In the settings, and the field delimiter will be the tab. 
so just find the tab here and that's it so the value 9 is tab so the fields are delimited by tab character and after that just choose the file from the local I also have the option to choose it from hdfs as well but as we download it to the local so just go to that path and give like ratings.data and open it so as you can see this is our data basically so first of all you have to give the table name so here the ratings is already given so the, we will put it as ratings only and you can also give the columns as this file doesn't contain any header so you have to provide the column names as well so the first column in this is user id the second column is movie id the third column is rating and the last one is nothing but a timestamp also choose the storage file format so here it is orc but you can choose different file formats here so what are the difference and significance of all this that's a whole lot of discussion which we will cover in the separate lectures where i will be covering the difference between the, these all data files and which is applicable to which use case so for time being just give orc which is default one the database is default the tables is rating and we have also given the column name and also you can provide data types as well so for this i think integer will be the applicable one but you can also give like tiny int, small int, boolean, character, varchar according to the type of the data and you can just simply say like upload table so here we got an error so just give like ts and here our upload is in progress so the data is getting inserted now this will take time because it's a huge data set so as you can see our table has been created so if you go to the query just refresh the metadata first and in default you can see the rating so if we just hit select star from on ratings and execute it you can get all the results from it so right now you can see the queries in running position and it will take time because that file is pretty large and we only have single cluster yeah so as you can see we have ratings dot user id movie id ratings and timestamp which is nothing but ts so this query will select all the data so now it's time to upload our second table which is movies table so again go to upload table so for movies file as you know so if you go to movies as you can see these fields are separated by pipe character which is this vertical line so for this select the pipe character so just field delimiter would be so yeah so ascii value 124 which is pipe and then we can choose from local so from local again go to that particular path so for me it is in users my username yeah and movies dot item just open it and here also you can give like movie id movie name and the other ones we don't care about because there are so many columns and we will only be needing movie id and movie name to run our query so for time being i'll just leave it into the column 3 4 5 as it is and the table name as it has given as movies so i'll keep it as as the same and we will store it as a orc file itself and also by default whatever the data types are given they are looking good integer string string and string so this looks fine so we can just go ahead and upload the table so just upload table it will take some time yeah so the table has been created so if we go to the query just refresh the metadata and choose the default one and here you can see the movies table is created so if we just select from movies you'll get the result so the query is running yeah so we got the data as required so we'll getting movie id movie name and the other columns we don't care much about but now we can do different operations here so if you know sql i hope you will be already knowing what are all the different statements such as ddl dml as well as dcl so for this lecture what we'll do is we will try to find the most popular movies in our ratings table but from ratings table we can only get the movie id but we can join it to the movies table to get that movie name as well 
so here we can do joins and also at the last we can create one view on top of this query so that you don't need to write that query every time and we can just select all the data from the view itself so for that we will be needing the movie id movie name and the number of time it occurs in our data set so for that what we'll do is we will run the select statement which we'll use to fetch the data so just give like select the first we will need is movie id the next is movie name and to get the total number of ratings what we'll need to do is use the aggregation function which is count to count the occurrence in our data set so we need the occurrence of rating yeah so this all we need and we can give its alias as total underscore rating so this is the alias for this field and we are fetching the data from ratings and we can give alias as r because it will simplify our query and it will make it more readable so as you know that we are fetching movie id as well as the rating from the ratings table so as you can see movie id and ratings are coming from ratings table and the alias is r so just give the alias here as well so r dot movie id as well as count of r dot rating and then we need to do the join operation on the movies table to get the movie name so just give like join movie and the alias is m which will give and here the movie name is coming from movies so we can give like m dot that's it and we are joining these two tables on the basis of movie id because movie id is the common field in both these tables so just give like on the table alias which is r dot movie id equal to m dot movie id so that's it as we know we have used the aggregate function here so we need to use the group by on these two remaining columns so it will give us the group result on the base of the movie id and the movie name so just use the group by on r dot movie id and the m dot movie name so if you know the basics of sql it is pretty simple for you and again we will sort the data so that the maximum of total rating should come first so we need to sort it out in the descending order so just we will give like order by total ratings and for giving descending we just need to give desc so what this query will give us that it will give us the movie id movie name and the total rating which is the aggregate of all the ratings from the ratings table and we have joined movies table to get the movie name and we have joined it on base of the movie id column which is present in both the tables and we have again used the group by to group all the data based on the movie id as well as movie name and at the last we are using order by to sort the data in the descending order so that we'll get the most popular movie first so when we execute it now it is submitted to the cluster so under the hood what it'll do is it will convert this sql query into a MapReduce job and will get the result on the console itself so hope you already know what is MapReduce and how it works so under the hood it uses that mechanism only yeah that's it so i was hoping for it so as you can see the star war movies from 1977 is the most popular movie in our data set along with the contact fargo return of the jedi liar liar english patient so these are the most popular movies from our data set so what we got here is the movie id and the movie name and the total of rating so here which means that it is been rated by 584 users so the mystery is resolved now we got our most popular movie from our data set so if you had done it you should be proud of yourself as you have extracted some meaning out of this raw data but if you want to store this as a logic you can use views on top of the select queries so what we'll do is instead of writing this query again and again you can simply create a view and give this query to it so that if you just use select star from that view you can get the same result so what we'll do now is we will just use the create statement which is the data definition language so just create then view and now we have to give the view name so we will give like most underscore popular underscore movies as and this is the select query 
So what this query will do is it will create a view which is named most popular movies in our default database as it will fetch the data from ratings table and movies table to get the required result which we just got. So if we just execute this query. So as you can see our query has been succeeded. So if we just refresh it and click on the default database as you can see the most popular movie has been created which contains the movie ID, movie name and total rating. So you just forget about typing this query again. What you can do is simply just use select star from most popular movies. That's it. So you can just use the select command to get the data from your view. So now the query is in running condition. Yeah, so the query is succeeded. So it is giving the same result as we have used the same query to create our view. So it will just save your time and you can do complex operation and use the join conditions to join multiple table as well as use union alls to union different select queries to face the data and you can store it as a view so that you don't need to write the complex logic again and again and you can give this view to the end user so that they don't need to do any aggregation it will just taken care by the view definition itself so i think we are done now so after doing all this what we can do is we can do a simple cleanup by just using the drop command so just use drop view if exist so what it will do is it will drop the view if it exists in a database otherwise it will not throw an error because we are passing it if exist so just execute it yeah so the view has been dropped so if we just refresh it and select the default one that view has been dropped so similarly we can do that for movies and ratings as well so what we can do is use the ddl command drop the tables so just give like drop table movies execute it so the table is deleted then again give the ratings and execute it yeah so the rating is also deleted so if you just refresh it and go to the default yeah i have selected the default and nothing is there so that's it for this lecture so in this lecture we have created two tables from the files which we have downloaded from the gate and also we have created metadata and defined the data types for the columns in those tables and we have found out the most popular movie from our database by using the join condition and use the aggregation functions on both the tables and then we have created view on top of that select query so that that query logic will be stored as a view and you can simply give that to your end user who can just use the select star from to get all the desired result and at the last we have just used the ddl command which is drop command to delete all the views and tables from our default database so if you like this lecture please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media that I have linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.